Namaste or Assalamu Alaikum Dosto. In this video, I'm going to show you how I blend in here in Pakistan and in India. How I turn from, you know, a typical Gora on the street in India to a Pathan here. And there's a number of benefits and reasons why I do this. Basically, I don't want to be that foreign guy who stands out like a sore thumb. It just invites unwanted attention. So here, for example, in Pakistan, while I was here, there were protests against the French in Rawalpindi, and they actually blocked off the entire Islamabad with shipping crates so people couldn't enter. And I was there in Islamabad, but because I blended in, you know, no one can recognize me as a foreigner here. They actually think I'm a Pathan, and they come up to me and start speaking Pashto to me. It's hilarious. And when I'm dressed like, you know, a foreigner in jeans and a t-shirt, People will like literally point at me and go, hey, Gora, Gora, Deko, like, look, look at the white guy. So this avoids all that. And the benefits when I'm in India, I just have way less scammers and touts approaching me. When they see me from behind, they can't identify me as a foreigner if I'm wearing like a beautiful long kordata. If they see me from the front, they'll be like, huh? Maybe this guy has a lot of experience in India if he's wearing traditional Indian clothes. And, and they, just, they just want to approach you because of that, because they think they go after easy targets, right? They don't want to go after hard targets. They choose their targets. They're criminals. They're, they target, you know, vulnerable people who they see as like fresh off the plane, basically. That's how scammers and touts operate. So you can avoid all that if you just try and blend in here a bit in India and Pakistan. So I'll show you how to do that in this video. I've transformed. This is me in Pakistani Kapre. Let me show you all this and explain it all to you, okay? So how am I looking, guys? I am not looking like a novice or an easy target, right? This is a salva, these baggy pants, and this is a kameez, this long, this long top, I would guess you would call it. And this is a pakol. This was from Chitral and it's made of lamb's wool. I think this is made of cotton. And if you want to like really get the look going, you have a huge shawl. This one's lamb wool again. And you can wrap it around yourself in winters like this, right? Then the, no one's going to know that you're a foreigner here in Pakistan, at least. In India, they might, but here in Pakistan, there's a lot of people that actually kind of look a little bit like me and have blue eyes and all this type of stuff. And if you really, really want to go for it, pull this up, put that over the back of your cap like that, and you can walk around like this. Nobody on earth is going to know. Everyone's going to think you're, you're a Pakistani. And you're actually going to get a lot of comments about this. You're not going to get any hate. You're not going to get all these people saying, oh, cultural appropriation. None of that nonsense because I love the clothes. I respect the country. For me, it's even more, it's not, not even about blending in as much. It's more about just loving the culture and embracing the culture. But it has that added benefit of blending in and not looking like an easy target as well. In India, you will get similar salva kameez. They're called kortata there. And for example, they don't have the rounded edges like you see on this. And they, in India, they tend to wear kind of more slim fit rather than this very baggy look they have here in Pakistan. And for women, you can just go to the markets and just buy so much beautiful stuff. All this stuff right here in this massive pile is what I'm taking back for my wife in India because she loves Pakistani fashion so much. And just look how colorful this stuff is. So, yeah, you'll find plenty and tons and tons of women's clothes here in Pakistan and India as well. You don't have to go for those elephant pants that every single foreigner wears. They kind of give you away, actually. You can go for a traditional salva kameez look as well in the female, female style. And ladies, I probably wouldn't go for these super, super colorful designs. I mean, you can, but the thing is, these bright colors, they will make you stand out on the street. If you wear more kind of plain colors, like this green or like a baby blue or white or black, you'll just blend in more on the street, right? But if you wear something really colorful like these, then 
It's gonna stand out like crazy, but you can. But I always just go with the more kind of, the simple look and I don't go for the, the fancy stuff either. Like you can get some really fancy cortas and salvacamis, but I don't need it. I just want to look plain and normal. I don't want to look fancy. You know what I mean? Like I just love the plain style. I want to look like the common man on the street. I don't want to look special. I just want to look like everybody else and blend in and yeah, don't want to get treated any differently for wearing some, you know, fancy, fancy clothes. And so if you want to come and grab some clothes here in India or Pakistan, India, there's a great shop called Fab India. It's even at the airports. Pakistan for women, there's a great place called Rangja, where I brought most of those clothes so far for Manisha from. And you can go to the markets and, and bargain as well. In each city, there's usually like a specific kapre bazaar or clothing market you can go to here in Muzaffarabad where I am right now. It is Medina Bazaar. And I've got one more tip for India and Pakistan. Do not write off the stores at hotels because you can get some beautiful products in here. And the thing is, you can trust its authenticity more than you can go into a market where people will tell you it's real cashmere when it's not. They'll sell you anything. They'll sell you viscose in the name of cashmere. But if you come here, what I found in my experiences are the shopkeepers at hotels are very genuine and the prices aren't as expensive as you would think it being in a hotel. I've checked the prices here. So by wearing clothes which are more fashionable here in India and Pakistan, you can blend in and avoid unwanted attention.